George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. Today is another in our series of ongoing Chalk Talk videos where we deep dive on various topics in the storage industry. Joining me today is Bill Schilling, the Director of Marketing with iMation. Bill, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, George, it's great to, uh, great to be here. Good. Well, what, what do you guys do at iMation? Just give the folks a, a, they probably have different samples of different parts of iMation. Just uh, talk about what you guys do. Yeah, that's to. true. We've been around since 1995. Very simply, we're a storage company. We offer simple, secure, scalable storage solutions to small businesses and mid-sized enterprises. And I know that you, a key focus for you guys of late has been sort of the archive market and enabling that in the small to medium-sized uh, data center. Can you talk about, a little bit about that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we offer backup and uh, archive uh, you know, storage solutions that we think are right-sized for small businesses uh, that enable them to reduce content storage costs, protect their data, uh, even relay large data sets bypassing kind of LAN-WAN performance uh, issues and help them meet uh, certain compliance uh, requirements. The, the appliances that we offer, the complementary backup and archive appliances, are built on a sort of multi-tier, multimedia architecture that features RDX, removable hard drives, as a key component of that, uh, of that architecture, which we've drawn out here on the, uh, on the whiteboard. Okay, why don't you walk us through a little bit what you have here? Okay, well, you know, at, at, the, at the top level, uh, each of our appliances have storage controllers running an OS or management inter interface that is automating storage workflows, backup and archive workflows across the different online, nearline, and offline uh, uh, tiers. We're also connected, you know, obviously to the cloud uh, for off-site storage or can move data via RDX, uh, RDX off-site. So we're, you know, automating these workflows across fixed 7200 RPM hard drives, removable RDX uh, drives. Our appliances can replicate back and forth to one another and then uh, connect, uh, connect to the cloud. Can we deep dive a little bit on RDX just for a second because that might be new to, to some folks watching? You know, it is a uh, relatively new storage medium. Uh, we think it uh, is a more flexible, durable, and reliable alternative to hard drives and, uh, and tape. In fact, we kind of feel like it's the answer for many small businesses on how to handle this kind of rapid and unpredictable growth in digital content that they're, they're experiencing. And I know that uh, we've talked to you guys in the past about it, like it even has a role for what has been commonly called cloud seeding to get data to the cloud, that initial copy. So <coughs> That's so. right, right? I mean, with large bulk data sets, you know, a bit of a challenge to move that all over to the cloud. RDX, the durable nature of its uh, uh, cartridge, you know, creates an opportunity to move those bulk data sets uh, via physical transport to a cloud provider. And maybe more importantly, the restoration, right, the recovery, yeah. Yeah. you know, the cartridge back to the, uh, you, know, to the uh, you know, to the small business, uh, uh, you know, to recover their data. So uh, what's the purpose of uh, this device from a, an SMB perspective? How would I implement it and what would I use it for? Well, you know, I think, you know, the way to think about it is that sort of this architecture is sort of seamless and operates behind the scenes for a small business. Uh, plug in this on-premise appliance that's running uh, backup workflows across hard drives, RDX drives, and the cloud. We're enabling them to put in enterprise-like best practices for backing up their data with a very simple, you know, management interface and an underlying, uh, you know, tiered storage architecture. One of the key things we've really been uh, discussing with that sort of small to medium size uh, IT generalist, really, mm -hmm. right, is, is the concept of they, mo they get backup, like the, that they have to do it. They're struggling with how to do it in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. But what they really struggle with is archiving and compliance. I, I think mm -hmm. that talk a, bit, a little bit about why they need that and, and, who's, um, and, and how this might help them with that right. process. Yeah, they've got you know, a number of different industry and, and government you know, regulations that they you have to deal with, depending upon what sort of vertical market or industry that you're, you're in. Some are more significant than, uh, than, than others. And you know, the, the IT team you know, has to quickly figure out uh, how to meet those, you know, compliance, uh, you know, requirements. With our Infinivault Active Archive appliance, our management inter interface actually streamlines that requirement by allowing 
uh, an administrator to set and define vaults or storage pools that have been virtualized across this media mm -hmm. uh, according uh, to the type of data that's being stored there so that they can toggle you know, different compliance settings uh, on and off for that particular, uh, particular vault. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I was reading an article the other day uh, about, it was about the uh, BP oil spill, British Petroleum oil spill in the Gulf, and uh, the uh, uh, investigation that went around that. And I think a lot of people, oil and gas is a really good example because most people think of like three companies as oil and gas, and really there's thousands of little small companies. Right. There was 147, I think it said, other companies involved in the, in, you know, that, that required information. Right. And most of those companies were small and nobody would have ever heard of them. Right. right? But there's so many people. And if you think about what that, where that was, that was just, you know, that's not even delivery to the customer. That's just getting it out of the ground. And there was, you know, almost 150 companies involved in the process. Right. And all these small companies had to come up with some way to deliver information. And like the article was complaining how, what a difficult time they had getting that yeah. from those small businesses. I mean, it is the worst nightmare. You know, yeah. to be part of a legal action where there's a need for, you know, to meet an e-discovery request and you just don't know where, you know, to start. With a, you know, with a setup like this and the InfiniVault Active, InfiniVault Active Archive appliance, that facilitates getting to that infrequently accessed data that you never know that you're going to need that's being stored on the right, you know, right media and not, you know, using, using power cycles because on an RDX drive, an RDX drive that's not in use will spin down. Right, and that's obviously the, the best use of power, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll be back with more videos in the future.